Oh, hey, LaBee, this your boy Big B, B, and we back for another edition of Big B Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, we're here for the summer 2021 niche fragrance list where we go ahead and dive into some of the fragrances from the niche realm that I am excited to wear this summer. Now, if you have not checked out the designer list, make sure you take the opportunity to do so. I will leave it linked and listed down below. Now that you know what we're doing, let's go ahead and get down to big beard business. The first fragrance on our list today comes from Profume Roma, and this fragrance house really delivers a lot of unique fragrances, and this one is really no different. This one is Greenest in the Bottle, and this one is Ichnusa. Now, Ichnusa is reminiscent of a nice summer day. This one is fresh cut grass, this one is fig, it's wood, and it's also dope. Now, there are not uh, a lot of fragrances within my collection that really mimic green notes to this way. Traditionally speaking, Speaking, we hear a lot of people speak about green fragrances. They kind of go to green Irish tweed, which isn't really um, super green in compared to something like this. This one is really, really like you're standing out in the forest, <laughs> all right? Uh, this one is going to be like a summer day in a bottle if you are out and about. This fragrance was released in 2001, so it's been around for a while at this point, but I think it's really relevant in today's world. It's a fragrance that I do enjoy. It's long lasting, it's fresh. Again, that fig brings in something different to it. It has a slight bit of sweetness to it as well, and it's a fragrance that I think is not going to be in everyone's collection, and you can wear this fragrance with confidence. So, Ichnusa from Profile. From Roma. The next fragrance on my list is one that's different as well. This one came out in 2020. This one was also within my collection in 2020, and it's something that I really enjoy, and especially now as the summers here aren't super hot. If you guys don't know, I live in Tennessee now, Chattanooga to be specific, and where I am, at least right now, it is not super hot. I've only had like one or two days where it was kind of on that Florida level. But let me tell you about this fragrance. This one is rich, it's sophisticated, and it's warm to a sense, but it's still fresh. Fragrance comes from Unwash, and this one is Enclave. Now, or Enclave. I'm not sure which pronunciation they went with on this fragrance, but it's super nice. What I do enjoy about this fragrance is the mint within this fragrance, and it's different than another mint that I have on this list. That spearmint in this fragrance brings this cooling uh, freshness to it, but there's also a hint of spice here. You have some cardamom, and you also have some cinnamon within this fragrance that add that warmth and spicy component to this scent that really does work specifically for those spring and summer days. This fragrance from Umwaj has this bluish green feel to it, kind of like the bottle here as well. And the freshness of this fragrance really lasts more and more as the fragrance develops. So if you're looking for something that's different, it's rich, it's warm, it's fresh, and sophisticated all at the same time, try this fragrance from Umwaj on cloth. Next up on my list, I have a fragrance that kind of closely mimics a fragrance that I also enjoy from the house of Tom Ford. Not saying that this one copied it, but it's pretty close in my humble opinion. And the fragrance comes from Roja, and this one is Roja Vetiver. And this one is part of that cologne series, and this one to me is really, really a nice fragrance. This is one of those fragrances that I feel confident wearing to the office on a hot day, and I know that I'm going to, one, smell different, and two, smell good. Also, you can add sophisticated in there as well, because most of the fragrances that come from Roja really fall within that sophisticated realm. Describing this fragrance, it's simple. Wood, citrus, vetiver. But the vetiver in this fragrance isn't something that's dirty or earthy in its sense. And it's really, if you had to kind of liken this to anything, again, I would say this one is closer to Tom Ford's gray vetiver to me. This fragrance uh, is one that really just works. It captures the essence of what you would want within a vet of a fragrance without going overboard. And this can be a good entry into that. This one is not super dark. It's not super smoky. It has this nice freshness about it. Slightly earthy, ever so slightly earthy. It's not one that's going to be off-putting by any means. If you're looking to try something different, introduce a new brand into the collection. If you have not gotten your nose on one of these, I think this is a super safe 
entry into that and if you're looking to introduce a new brand to your collection like this one be sure to check out my people over at fragranceusa.com because not only do they have a ton of niche fragrances there they also have some designer fragrances there as well but one of the key things that i can always always know you will appreciate with them is their super fast shipping as well as their discounted kind of prices and if you utilize your boys code on top of that big beer 10 you're going to save an additional 10 percent off of your order so no matter if you're looking for something that is like Roja's vetiver here or a creed like some of the ones that we'll talk about today you'll be in the right space you'll have super fast shipping you'll have reliable customer experience with this 100 customer satisfaction guarantee they also have an authenticity guarantee and i think those are some of the basics of what you need free shipping and samples here in the u.s so be sure to try them out vetiver cologne from Roja dove this was vetiver parfum cologne to be specific because there's another one there as well be sure to check this fragrance out because well my friend it's dope and speaking of dope brands and dope fragrances you can pick up at fragranceusa.com this next one is one of those brands you can pick up for sure and this one is mason francis kirk john and this one is petite matan the fragrance specifically that i am talking about here this fragrance is great for those summer days um especially when it is hot all right because this is like a grand rising fragrance that just smells amazing some of your notes in this fragrance are going to be pepper you have orange blossom you have lemon you have muscle and you also have some ambroxan now the ambroxan within this fragrance to me is kind of amped up a bit far beyond something that you would get in sauvage right you know that sauvage is an ambroxan based fragrance as well i don't say base but it's heavy on ambroxan and this one here um has some ambroxan in it as well but it's really really high quality and it just comes off the skin extremely well uh one of the things i like about maison francis Kirk John is their ability to do fragrances in a way that is sophisticated, high quality, and this one is really no different. This fragrance really makes me uplifted, feel vibrant, and invigorating when smelling this fragrance and when I wear it, and I think you will as well. So be sure to check out this fragrance, Petit Matin from Mason Francis Kirk John. The next fragrance brings us to our midway point on today's list. And if I had to describe this fragrance in three words, it would be sophisticated mojito cocktail. The fragrance hails from Killian. This one is Killian's I Love the Way You Taste. It's actually called Love the Way You Taste, but I always add that I in there for some reason. All right, this fragrance here is a uh, classic, classic, sparkling, bright fragrance that is very reminiscent to what you can expect to feel down on the Miami scene. If you're heading down to the 305, you can expect something that's going to to be bright it's lively because there is a lot going on and this fragrance does have some things going on to it but it's not like overly done here um you have that that cocktail feel within this fragrance it's brought in by some of that lime you have this bubbling component or fizziness about the scent that is really unmatched in any of these fragrances that are on the list today and it's hard to come by something that is as fizzy as this my wife and I were recently talking about like how do you describe fizziness in terms of a smell and we're like you know it's difficult to do right um, but here's what you'll need to know about this fragrance in terms of what it contains this one has lemon it has uh, vetiver you also have some mint and some magnolia this scent to me is really uh, just just a magnificent scent when it comes down to something um, that is going to be white t-shirt worthy you're feeling clean you're feeling fresh you're ready to take on the day then this is a fragrance that you can wear only thing about that fragrance is performance is really not great on that and they kind of set that out from the gate they say hey here's this little travel pouch so you can take it with you to reapply um, throughout the day and and from that we knew that the performance was not going to go um, extremely well in its favor and it did not but the fragrance does smell good and it's one that i constantly recommend when i was down in florida if it was like 95 plus i would spray that fragrance on and boom all my worries are taken away with the exception of how much i'm sweating <laughs> that fragrance did smell great and it will help you out in any situation like that now that takes into our next fragrance here that is this salty watermelon feel it's kind of how it's traditionally referenced this one hails from the house of creed and this one is creed's millicene imperial now millicene imperial to me is obviously a fragrance that can work in that summertime environment but it also is a fragrance that transitions well from the office back down to casual wear so if you had to rock 
something to the office, whether it's a board meeting, you're just sitting there at your cubicle. Um, this is a fragrance that could work. You can transition this into a lunch date. This would work, or you can transition this just to a date out and about, running errands, um, hitting the mall, etc., meeting up with some of the guys or some of the people out there that you enjoy. This fragrance does work. With this fragrance, you're gonna get that legendary Creed distribution, as you see there. Uh, this fragrance has um, salt notes. You obviously get some of that fruit, as I mentioned, that watermelon's there. You got some bergamot here, Irish. You get woody notes and also a marine accord here as well. Um, a fragrance that has been in my collection for years. I will continue to re-up on this fragrance and add it over and over again. Super safe, super simple, easy to wear fragrance, Creed's Millicene Imperial. Now, the next fragrance that I wanna to talk to you about today is a fragrance that I don't wear as much, but when it comes down to times to wear this fragrance, um, then I'm always down for it in the summer. Only downside about this fragrance is performance. Like Love The Way You Taste, this fragrance doesn't have the best performance, but it does smell amazing. This fragrance comes from Joe Malone, and this one is Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Wood Sage and Sea Salt is exactly what the name describes. This one has some wood there from this ambrette. You have some sage within this fragrance. You also have sea salt. This fragrance is one that is super airy, in my opinion. It's one uh, when it is on the skin and its ability to waft off the skin in close scenario situations and uh, it's really kind of unmatched in terms of what that scent is is the profile on this fragrance really brings it into something that leans into that unisex realm extremely well and it's marketed as a unisex scent um this one can work in both situations whether you're a man or a woman extremely well uh this fragrance is says that it's a cologne but i don't really think this fragrance is a cologne i feel like this one is an edt and they also have this uh, cologne intense version out there but it's not of this those are those ones that come in the black bottle uh listen this is a fragrance that i feel confidence recommending to almost anyone in terms of a fragrance that's going to be inoffensive um, it'll get you compliments in the right situations and it also has this invigorating uplifting uh, sense to this scent uh, they really knew what they were doing with this fragrance and one of those introductory fragrances that you can just go check it out and feel confident that you are good to go um listen joe malone really leaves nothing up to chance when it comes down to their fragrances in terms of what you can expect the names well, most of these fragrances really give it to you, but the fragrances are really masterful. They're light, but they, they, they are bright. <laughs> Listen, get your nose on this one if you have not yet. Uh, Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Now we are down to the final three fragrances on my list today. And this next fragrance is one that um, would traditionally be uh, placed with a Creed, but I've been leaning more and more to this one since I've been introduced to it. And this one is Nishane's Hachiva. Now Hachiva is this fragrance that is bergamot, it's pineapple, it's grapefruit, it's jasmine, and this thing is really, really amazing. As I've mentioned, this fragrance is one that in the past I've talked about this fragrance really being a modern classic, a twist on a uh, compliment monster fragrance in itself. And this one will garner you compliments for sure. Uh, wear this fragrance with confidence. Know that you will likely be one of the best smelling people in the room. Performance is great on this fragrance. No need to go super heavy on sprays, but if you did decide to do so, then well, you gotta take the whole crowd with you. This fragrance is nice. And in addition to some of those brighter notes that we talked about, there are some woody notes in this scent as well that really complete the entire masterpiece here. In those woody notes, you get some oak moss, you get some cedar. Um, listen, great performing fragrance, one that I recommend often, and I've been super excited with it ever since it's been in my collection. So, Nishane Hachiba. Now, we're down to the final two fragrances on the list, and this next fragrance is one that well gets a lot of burn for me, or did get a lot of burn for me down in Florida for those hot hot summer days and the times when i have the opportunity to wear this because i'm not in a tropical environment anymore i would definitely do so this fragrance is virgin island water from the house of creed now this one is a vacation in the bottle as it's been said to say um this one also has this cocktail feel to it and this one is um rum uh, coconut masterpiece if you ask me that's my personal thoughts on this fragrance like some of the others on today's list this is also a fragrance that really works well throughout the household kid could wear this one mom dad could wear this one and uh really feel like they are confident and they should be wearing a scent in that sense this fragrance to me really takes on the life of the person wearing it and is another 
uplifting scent. Vacation time, spray this on. Or if you want a vacation and don't have enough PTO, <laughs> right? Or you're just not in a position to go on vacation, spray this one and just Woosa, close your eyes and you will be taken away to a tropical environment. Uh, this scent is one of those fragrances that I often recommend. I think it's just high quality. Um, performance on this one is iffy depending on the batch variation that you get. I seem to do fine with mine, but I do hear people talk about them not getting the best performance. But again, this is one of these fragrances that you would uh, decant, take along with you, and listen, that opening on this scent is what makes this one so masterful to me. A lot of fragrances, the beauty becomes in the dry down, but to me, the, the opening is masterful, the mid-transition is great as well, and then the base uh, really stands out to me too. So, great fragrance from the house of Creed, Creed's Virgin Island Water. Also, nothing else like it within their lineup too, which is something I find super dope. And then a the final fragrance on our list today, the, the 10th fragrance, which is technically in the number one spot. This fragrance comes from Parfum de Mali, and this one is Sedley. Sedley is a masterpiece scent, if you ask me, and a fragrance that I, my friend, do not mind wearing at any stage of the year, specifically when it comes down to that summertime. Like many of the others we talked about on today's list, this one can also be picked up at FragranceUSA.com. Be sure to check them out. This fragrance really needs no introduction. It doesn't need me to speak for it because when you spray this thing on, you'll understand exactly why you should have this in your collection. Settly is bright, it's juicy, it's sharp, it's powerful, it lasts quite some time on my skin. One of the things that uh, some people had complaints about in the original batch of this is that performance didn't really last long. But for me, this one does last long. This is the uh, remastered rated version of this fragrance and yeah i think it's dope one to have in the collection for sure those are 10 fragrances i am super excited to be rocking this summer i would love to know what you have on your list do you have anything for me do you have any of these fragrances on your list feel free to comment down below and let your boy know as always i'm your boy big big b don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn damn